Now let's go through the steps on how to properly assess and document moisture intrusion. First, you will want to use a floor plan app like Magic Plan to document all aspects of the job and quickly scan and sketch each room before you begin your inspection. So first, we're gonna to wanna to create a new project in the app. This is really easy just by clicking the plus button in the top right. And here I'll go into the details for the project and give this a name called Moisture and Mold Inspection. After I've created the project, we're going to want to add the first floor. I'll just select ground floor here. And let's go ahead and insert a room. Now you have four options here. You have the scan with camera option. Great if you have a LiDAR device. Um, square room option if you're working with a quadrilateral room, something really simple. You have the defined corners option for your more abstract room shapes. Maybe you have an L-shaped room or something that's not quite a square. Or if you have a two scale import that you want to import and draw over top of, you can use the last option as well. For the demonstration today, I'm just going to do the scan with camera option. After I zoom out a little bit, I'll show you some of the most important objects that you're going to want to use when you're creating this floor plan for a moisture and mold inspection. So for me, restoration and annotations are the two most important that you'll be using. So here I have a humidity temperature measure. Go ahead and drop this in here just to show you how you add one. And then we'll go back and take a look at the annotations. And here I have a photo icon. Now I like the photo icon because you can place this down in the room, adjust the orientation, and you can actually attach photos directly to this if you wish. Um, it's a really great tool that you can use to get really well oriented in their exact location photos within a floor plan. And then we'll go back and take a look at that form I was talking about earlier. Let's go to the moisture and mold damage form here. And you'll see that I have all these questions that I predefined in the cloud available to be filled in. So I'll go ahead and attach those photos click add. You can do bulk add or individual photos it's up to you. Here's a list answer where I can go and select one of the list options if I want. And once I scroll down, you'll see a couple other of the options that we have, such as a number value answer or a free text answer. And this is what forms look like in the application. Really a great tool if you're trying to capture all the information in one questionnaire. So once your inspection is complete, it's time to start sharing this file. So under files and sharing, you'll see we have our sharing options like invite collaborators or share the project with other Magic Plan users. Or you can export PDFs. We have sketch files like JPEG files, SVG files, um, and you can also send a copy by email. And all of these exports can be customized with your company information under your account settings back at the home screen. And that's a wrap on moisture inspection techniques. Remember, precision and proactivity are key. If you found this guide valuable, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and drop your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next tutorial.